friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I'm excited to share with you everything I picked up for the week, some new food finds, some really good recipes coming your way in my what I eat in a day and my meal prep. So if you're excited for a grocery haul, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend having this done if you haven't already. It's really important to make sure you're eating enough to still lose weight. And if you want to chat with me directly for one-on-one -on -one support, I have coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things in my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So let's go ahead and jump right into this week's grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. I did Walmart grocery pickup and then I also went to Trader Joe's. It's been a couple weeks since I went to Trader Joe's so I found a couple of new things and I picked up some standby favorites. So let's jump into the grocery haul. Picked up a bag of sliced almonds. This is for a recipe and I also like to put these on oatmeal and on salad. It's just a good way to get in some extra protein and healthy fat. Troy asked for scoops, Frito scoops or Trader Joe's corn chips. I wasn't sure if I was going to Trader Joe's. So when I did my Walmart pickup, I just ordered a big bag of the scoops. He likes to put these in that Dean's French onion dip. A loaf of sourdough bread for his sandwiches for this next week. A pack of hamburger buns. This is actually for a dinner recipe. I love the Walmart buns because not only are they under a dollar per pack, they're only three points on WW and only 100 calories. So it's a really good hamburger bun option. We were just about out of eggs. So I grabbed my favorite eggs ever an 18 pack of the organic happy egg. Troy asked for cottage cheese as a snack, so I grabbed the great value 2% cottage cheese. I needed non-fat Greek yogurt for a couple of dinner recipes. This one is my favorite. I find that especially with two ingredient dough, this one does not make the dough really sticky. I was completely out of balsamic vinegar, so I did a restock. A pack of Colby Jack cheese for a dinner recipe. I needed Colby Jack specifically, and they were out of the Walmart brand, but I also picked up the sharp cheddar in the Walmart brand. Troy likes to have cheese, of course, on his sandwiches, and then I also needed sliced cheese for a couple of recipes. Of course, the four cheese tray, again, for, you guessed it, Troy's meat, cheese, and crackers. I was completely out of honey, and I need it for a recipe this week, and I have not done my monthly Costco sh trip yet where I normally buy honey. So this Trader Joe's organic unfiltered honey was a really good price. So I picked that up. No, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but I did need some cranberry sauce for a recipe. Troy asked for peanut butter and I actually need peanut butter for meal prep. So the Trader Joe's creamy peanut butter, there's no added sugar, there's no oil, and it's $1.99 at Trader Joe's. You cannot beat the price for their peanut butter. Daisy Light Sour Cream. This is just a restock to have on hand. I've mentioned before that we all always like to have sour cream in the refrigerator. I picked up three cans of pork and beans and not for me but for Troy. He asked for these specifically. I don't know why it must sound good to him as a snack so I grabbed three cans of the Van Camp's pork and beans. New food find at Trader Joe's are these double chocolate almond flour cookies. They have good ingredients and look at this seven cookies for a hundred and 50 calories. Now I'm guessing the cookies are pretty small, but seven of them for the points and calories, that's a huge bang for your buck. I'm making sliders this week and I actually ordered the Great Value Hawaiian Sweet Rolls and they substituted for the King's Hawaiian. These are a little bit more calories. I don't know if the points vary. I will put a note here on the screen if they do, but this is for a dinner recipe. Some pre-cut salami slices for meat, cheese, and crackers. Two jars of the Trader Joe's Organic Tomato Basil Marinara. 
I need this for a dinner recipe and I just don't have time to make the zero point skinny-ish dish. Just as a point of reference, I do not count points for this marinara. So I will be using this as zero points in that recipe. A big jar of green olives because Troy asked me to pick those up. Two cans of no salt added green beans for our dogs. We always give them green beans as a treat after a meal instead of table scraps. So we were out of green beans, so I picked up two more cans. For his lunches this week, he wanted to do salami and ham and turkey or roast beef. We have some meat left over from this last week. If you missed my what I eat in a day, I had I shared a funny story with you guys that Troy was actually on vacation and didn't know it this last week. So I had bought everything for his sandwiches and then we didn't go through it all. So we're going to use up the meat that we have from last week. And then I did go ahead and purchase some ham and some salami. Two pounds of 96% extra lean ground beef. This is for a couple of dinner recipes this next week. Now I've never had these, but Troy asked for these. These are the Just Crack an Egg Scramble Kits. This is the American one. I will go ahead and put the points here on the screen for each kit if this is something you'd be interested in. I also picked up one of the Ultimate, one of the Protein Packed, and one of the Denver. I will report back to you after he tries these and let you guys know what he thought, but these are really quick, easy, simple, protein packed breakfast. A big huge pack of the Oscar Mayer center cut bacon for a recipe and then we love bacon in this house so we'll go ahead and cook up the rest just to have on hand. I wanted some turkey breast for sandwiches and salads this next week so I grabbed the Trader Joe's smoked turkey breast. Restocked my light shredded three cheese blend and then I had to pick up another pack of the light mozzarella. I love this cheese. I'm so incredibly happy it's back. A bag of yogurt covered pretzels. This is for Troy's lunch. He requested those. So also asked for some lean cuisine, so I picked up a lasagna with meat sauce, Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese, five cheese rigatoni, and an Alfredo pasta with chicken and broccoli. Everything else is going to be produce. I picked up a little pack of mint for my water, organic blueberries, this is for a recipe, and then of course just for fruit for the week, and also a small pack of organic raspberries. A cucumber for a recipe as well as for snacking. Corn on the cob, this is for a recipe, and then whatever's left over we'll just have as a side with dinner. One lone apple for her meal prep. A big bag of organic limes for water, and then I actually needed limes for a couple recipes this week as well. And last Last but not least, a big pack of romaine lettuce for salads. So that is everything in this week's grocery haul. Let's jump into what I'm planning for dinners this next week and what you'll be seeing in this Monday's exciting meal prep. So here are my dinner recipes for the week. This is 731 through 86. We are officially entering into August, as crazy as that is. So today is Saturday. We always go out for dinner. Sunday I'm making million dollar spaghetti. This recipe sounds absolutely amazing. You will be seeing this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that. Monday I'm doing turkey cheddar sliders. That's what I purchased the Hawaiian little sweet rolls for. This also sounds amazing. Tuesday night is always a leftover night. Wednesday we're having a big, fresh, delicious summer cob salad. Thursday is balsamic steak tips and potatoes. This is a sheet pan, super easy recipe. And then Friday is a leftover night so we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here are the recipes that you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. I'm so excited for these. For breakfast, I am doing Meyer lemon poppy seed pancakes. How delicious does that sound? And for lunch, we're doing apple cheddar turkey burgers. Now, I love turkey burgers and Troy doesn't really, so I like to incorporate those into meal prep, something I'm only eating. And then for dessert, I'm making healthy nutty granola bites. These also sound incredible. So stay tuned on Monday for all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope I gave you a little bit of food inspo with my grocery haul for the week. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course, we'd love to have you join in our community. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and of course ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video upload. I do upload five days a week so you don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below again for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!